Hey guys, so, so qu some quick uh, quick recap from last night's Yankee game. I, I well, it's it's kind of disconcerting as well, but you know obviously the Yankees aren't looking good. They dropped another game eight to two. They had kind of a uh, you know a weird game. Let's say Nick Nelson came out through the first inning, and pretty much one of the only high, uh, one of the two highlights of the game is Mike King came in and threw three scoreless, good, and then Giancarlo Stanton hit his second home run of the season. So those are pretty much the highlights. Other than that, the Yankees dropped the game 8-2 to two against the Tampa Rays. They still look dysfunctional. They still look lost. Um, and it is what it is. And this is this is indicative of a lot of the starts of the Yankees' seasons. They, they, they start frustratingly slow. slow. They, look, you know, they, they look disorganized. They just look out of it. And I'm confident that they'll get it back together. But... Uh, you know, I, I do think it would be wise at this point to bring up Davey Garcia, give him an opportunity, and if there's any way they can get another guy who can throw long relief, another guy, aside from the ones they have, Yuli Chassin I think is still available. I would be going after them immediately because they need more guys so that they're not tanking out the bullpen early in the season. Um, so I really, really hope that they do that. I think it would be a very wise idea to do both. Um, and, you know, the, the, the lineup needs a spark. I mean, it is what it is. I need a spark. We'll see what we'll see what it's going to be. Please play Clint Frazier regularly. I know he was hearing it from the Boo Birds yesterday, and Judge Stanton. A lot of them were hearing it, but thankfully Stanton hit that home run late in the game. But what the other the, the thing that really disconcerted me is that the Yankee fans are you know with throwing baseballs on the field and stuff. That's guys, you know, you don't need me to say this, but like we're better than this guy. I mean, we come on. I mean, this these guys know that they're struggling. They know they stink right now, and they're doing whatever they can to try to get through it. And this happens to a lot of teams. The St. Louis Cardinals right now are having pitching injuries and he brought in Nolan Arenado. Like some of the top teams are just struggling. They're having a hard time. So I think it's important to be patient, but at, you know, be still maintain expectations, but be, we got to be realistic here. And, and, you know, I mean, if we're a fan, we got to support our guys. Okay. It's really, really important. I know this is more of an opinion thing aside from a recap, but that was pretty much the recap. And, and what I saw last night during the game kind of gave me these, they gave me the, the motivations to, you know, give my opinion on this. So um, I really hope the Yankee fans, you know, you know will, will stop doing things like this. And I'm not saying all Yankee fans, but the ones at, at the game yesterday and some of the ones on social media where they just don't want to hear it. It's just, guys, we have to support our team no matter what. If we're a Yankee fan, we support the team. So they will get through this. Don't know when. But remember, too, <clears throat> the 1998 team, they were, I think, 10-26 and 26 or 10-27. and 27, And then they wound up... You know, winning the World Series, and they went one fourteen to forty eight. So this happens on, on on you know this happens a lot with the Yankees. They go on a tear, and then they'll win sixty out of eighty, and it's a completely different ball game. But you know this has a little bit of a different feel. I still think they have the talent, they have the stuff to win, but they do need some healthy pitching. And I think it, I, it would be a really good idea for them to address this right now. And one of the one of the things they could do is calling up Davey Garcia. He does show poise, whether he throws good a good game or not. And he shows command. He shows maturity. But we need somebody else who can go five innings and more on a regular basis right now. We don't have that aside from Cole and Mo and Jordan Montgomery. We need more guys who can do that. So um, that I wanted to keep it short and sweet today. That's what I wanted to talk about. Um, you know, obviously the Yankees are they have they're in last place. They have the worst record in the American League right now. So or the worst record in the American League East, I should say. And uh, they don't look good. And you could see it on the players' faces. You could see the frustration, but I'm confident again they will get through it. I uh, do. I, I and I know they have a payroll mandate, but if there's a way they can acquire a, a, a frontline starting pitcher without going over the 210 million dollar threshold, it would be a wise idea. I think I know Cashman's probably working on it already. Uh, I know next year they'll make you know some pitching expenditures, but this year if they want to be competitive, they're going to have to do something, and they're going to have to do something pretty quickly about their pitching. Uh, so that they're not taxing this really, really good bullpen. Even if Zach Britton's coming back in a month or so or two, or even if Luke Boyd is coming back, um, uh, something needs to happen now. They just need a little bit of a spark plug. So that's that's my video today. And you know, if you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up. If you agree with it, please hit the thumbs up as well. Um, and if you don't, just give me your feedback in the comments as well. I'll be doing a post-game recap tonight after today's game, and uh, hopefully the Yankees will turn it around and win and kind of at some point get to uh, get get on get on a roll and it's probably going to be one of these games where they score 18 runs and win 18 to 3 and then they start going on a tear so <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm expecting one of these explosion games to uh, at some point when they score 10 runs in the first and all of a sudden they look like a completely different team 
Uh, I hope it happens sooner than later, but we'll see what happens. So, but let's keep in there. Let's hang in there. Let's support our team, please. And uh, I'll talk to you later on.